ESPN NFL, this is Pro Football Focus, one of the most valuable, pretty much statistical rankings for the NFL. NFL roster rankings, this is their list. Number one, Buffalo Bills have a very good chance of winning the Super Bowl. I feel like most people are picking them right now. They have Josh Allen, probably the best quarterback in football right now. There's not that much more to say. And they have a very good chance of winning the Super Bowl, like I just said. And I honestly think they probably will. ESPN NFL and ESPN Plus, number two on this list, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. NFL roster rankings by Pro Football Focus. Of course, it'll be number two. They have the greatest quarterback of all time, the greatest player of all time, in my opinion, Tom Brady. They get my, Mike Evans back. Chris Godwin's going to be healthy for next season. And overall, they have the same team. Really not that much is changing. Gronk did retire, and Antonio Brown obviously left the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I think they had most of the key players they needed to to be still competitive and still rank number two, which I agree they should be number two. ESPN NFL, number three on this list, Los Angeles Chargers, NFL roster rankings by Pro Football Focus. They have Khalil Mack on top of Joey Bosa, and they have Justin Herbert, Rashawn Slater. They have very good offense weapons and defense weapons. They have a very good chance of going to the Super Bowl. I really think the main thing that's been in their way has been coaching. I feel like that's overall been a concern for them overall. I think they have enough talent to win a Super Bowl, but I don't know what's in their roadblock as far as they're definitely going to have a hard chance because... The Raiders are in the division, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Broncos, who are definitely viable for the playoffs as well. ESPN NFL, the Super Bowl champions, the Los Angeles Rams at number four. It definitely makes sense. They had hit Aaron Donald. They got Allen Robinson as a wide receiver candidate. Odell Beckham Jr. is questioning to resign, so that could be another big move on top of that. They got Cooper Cup. Matthew Stafford's coming back. They've got everyone to come back who they really need to. Jalen Ramsey, too. And they have a very good chance of going back-to-back. It would be very rare, I think, because it's going to be very hard to do, but I think they have a good chance, and I agree with the ranking at number four. ESPN NFL, number five on the list, list. You have Green Bay Packers. In my opinion, I don't know if they should be at number five. They do have Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, probably the one of the best backfields in the NFL right now. They obviously have one of the best quarterbacks who won back-to-back -back MVPs, Aaron Rodgers. They did lose Devontae Adams, so I don't know. I might put him at six, but I think that should put him down ranking on this. And what do you think about this? Being NFL, number 28, you have the Jacksonville Jaguars. There's really not that much more to say. They really have a horrible team. And I think Trevor Lawrence definitely does need to improve for next season. And it's really showing the ranking that he needs to show a lot more promise. Because he honestly had one of the worst rookie seasons for last season and didn't play that great. ESPN NFL, number 29 on this list, you have the Seattle Seahawks. They lost Russell Wilson. The main quarterbacks now are Drew Locke and Geno Smith. There's not that much more to say. Honestly, one of the worst teams in the NFL right now just because of that. And hopefully they can get a new quarterback. Hopefully Baker Mayfield falls in the lap, though. Let's be an NFL. The Chicago Bears, they got Justin Field last season. But overall, the Chicago Bears have been horrible for the last few years. I don't know if it's going to look that any more promising. They lost Adam Robinson.